Good morning beautiful souls, it's Tim Wilde and uh, happy Monday. It's Meditation Monday and uh, what have we got in store this morning? What have we got in store this week? There's lots of action out in the out in the kind of uh, the world on the news and probably in your local countries and towns and whatever you're going on. We're, we're gearing up for, for the, the kind of the September carnival. Now I'm not going to go on to go into kind of politics and energy and um, anything like that. But what I am going to do is talk a little bit about crystals this morning, because during my Zoom events, my everyday life, the videos that I put out, I'm always talking about crystals and using crystals. Now, one of the kind of the long-standing uh, questions I always get asked is how do I program a crystal? How do I get my crystal to cooperate with me? Now what I'm going to show you is very very simple so it kind of classes in my eyes as a bit of a walking meditation as I, as I do um, every single Monday and it applies for every single crystal that you own be that a normal crystal or a Lemurian crystal a crystal skull, a crystal unicorn, whatever, whatever shape or form that crystal has chosen to take. If it is the programmable type, i.e. kind of a clear crystal such as quartz, rose quartz, smoky quartz, citrine, amethyst, uh, and so forth, you, you um, even aquamarine, you, you get the general gist of it. There's, there's two kind of distinct types of crystals that you will get like say for example you've got a sodalite a sodalite will be less programmable and if, if, you, if you've ever seen a sodalite it's kind of it's a it's a solid dark uh, it's a solid dark colored crystal but it's it has what we would kind of call in the trade like a latent set of energies which means it has properties it has things that it 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 kind of radiates on an on an energetic value but it is less programmable now the crystals i always work with for kind of holding and anchoring high frequency energy are quartz citrine rose quartz or the other types now one type of crystal isn't better than the other but for doing jobs like i do on a regular basis where i'm continuously kind of dealing with anchoring in high frequency energies or wishing to radiate energies out from where I am or even send it to a place say on the other side of the world quartz is your friend okay um, it's basically one of the most versatile forms of crystal it will take any single form or adapt itself to any vibration that you ask it to it can if you understand the terminology, a piece of quartz, especially like a, a, a nice high quality um, piece of quartz will oscillate simultaneously through several dimensional frequencies all at once. So you can be sat here with your physical quartz in your hand and that same piece of quartz will be existing in higher dimensional states in, 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 different, in different forms. So this is why it makes it so easy for quartz to or or any of the other kind of quartz type crystals to communicate and hold and anchor higher frequency energies because say i was an angel operating at a seventh dimensional frequency i wanted to connect my energy to a physical human being like myself and that physical human being had a piece of crystal or a piece of crystal either on their person or in that house the first thing that I would as an angel do is go for the crystal because that crystal is the bridge between the worlds the Brit the, the anchor point so wherever you are in the world this morning the this is a it's a nice quick exercise and it will also be very beneficial considering what the energies are like at the moment we're all kind of gearing up for this this um this kind of charge that the Mars retrograde is making and um, we're going to anchor in a pillar of light and we're just going to kind of radiate it from where you are sat. Now you can either do this for your own personal house, your say for the sake of example you've got your house, you, you live maybe in a busy area, you're in the centre of a city, you want to keep your vibration of your property nice and clear okay or you want to remotely 
place a pillar of light or a, a, a piece of sacred geometry around a building. Say your child is going to school and you want to make sure that the energy of that school is beneficial and protective for your child. You, under, you can by spiritual law place sacred geometry around that building to just ensure that it is vibrating perfectly for your child's frequency and keeping the energy higher than it would normally be with all of those mixtures of vibrations in it. So grab your crystal, okay? Just hold it within both of your hands. Now, if this is a piece of crystal that you haven't connected with him before, what you need to do is set the benchmark, set the base frequency. So I am now asking my crystal to vibrate at a fifth dimensional frequency and above at all times. And hold your crystal within your hands. You are speaking to it directly as you would a person. The crystal is now part of you. You are communicating with that. So set the frequency to be no lower than fifth dimensional at all times. And just feel the crystal tuning into the fifth dimensional frequencies around you, anchor it into whatever light is available that's vibrating at that, at that, at that benchmark of ascension and above. And you might even start to sense or feel a physical vibration in your hands coming from the crystal. This is quite normal, but it's also normal not to be able to pick up from a crystal like that. Don't worry if you're not receiving it. And from this point onwards, your crystal will now only take on vibrations of fifth dimensional, the, the fifth dimensional benchmark and above. It will never take on lower frequencies. Now, this is quite important, especially if you travel, if you take your crystal with you. If you set the vibration for this level, it will never drop below, okay? So you're now asking your crystal, to vibrate at this frequency. It could be your crystal skull, it could be anything that you are working with. And you set that intention, 5D, no lower. Now pick an energy, okay? Now this could be any ray, cosmic fire, archangel energy, ascended master energy, or any other frequency or vibration that you personally feel comfortable with. I always kind of tend to lean towards the, the, the kind of purification rays, the, the diamond ray of purification from Archangel Gabriel or the, the, the golden rainbow violet flame, any of those. But it also could be the soft loving energy of say Quan Yin or Mother Mary. Or if you wanted extra healing in your space, you call in the vibration of Archangel Raphael. Ask your crystal now to anchor in the energy of whoever or whatever angel, archangel, ascended master or ray that you wish to connect with. So I am now going to call in the frequency and vibration and energetic essence of Mother Mary to link into my crystal and light up. So beloved Mother Mary, please now bring forth your rose pink and white energy of unconditional love, your maternal frequencies, all of the heart-based energies of nurturing, of comfort, of safety, of unity, and light my crystal up with your vibration. And I can now very clearly feel the energies of Mother Mary now connecting into my crystal. My crystal is starting to radiate that light. I'm now asking Mother Mary and also Universal Angel Mary has stepped forwards at the same time. I'm going, going two for the price of one here. Universal Angel Mary and Mother Mary, these two souls are of, of two separate origins and two different vibrations, but people often, often put them in the same boat. So Mother Mary and Universal Angel Mary, both of you please 
light up my crystal, my aura, my bodies and my fields with your light. Thank you both for coming forward. And I'm now going to ask my crystal to set <coughs> a very specific field. Now I want my house and my surrounding area to vibrate at this frequency, not just for my benefit, for the benefit of everybody else who is living, moving through this vibration. And it just simply raises the frequency. So under the law of grace now, I am now asking my crystal to spread the field of Universal Angel Mary's and Mother Mary's light, love and unity in the shape of a pyramid around my house and 500 metres into the surrounding area. And I'm visualising a pyramid of rose pink and white light spreading out from me and my crystal and setting all around me. If you're doing this for your house, make sure that the pyramid covers the outside of your house. You can have the house sitting directly in it or you can spread the boundaries out further like I have done. And this way you are inadvertently blessing your neighbours, the people that live next to you. They might be people living below you or in a flat above. They will all benefit hugely from this energy. So your crystal in harmony with the energies for, for me, for, for what I'm doing, working with Mother Mary and Universal Angel Mary, we are now setting a pyramid a beautiful, pure, pink and white pyramid of love and light for myself and the surrounding area. And this spreads 500 metres in each direction. So it's quite a big one. Now I'm asking my crystal to set and hold this pyramid at all times. Okay, now your crystal will be active at a very high level now. It will have linked in to my particular crystal, it's now linked into the angels, the angels energy and Mother Mary's energy and it has set that field. Now that field will last for a for a length of time and you will kind of need to use your intuition to know you'll know within yourself whether that whether that energy is still fresh and very vibrant or whether you need to renew it now generally speaking if you're using your crystal to set a a a, a piece of like a, a piece of cosmic geometry or sacred geometry like the pyramid that I've done, that is quite a stable geometry, it's strong. So that would normally last about say two or three days living where I do. If you're living in a particularly busy area where there's lots of other people's energy say coming in and out of uh, out sharing that frequency with you, then you might need to do it on a kind of a daily basis or once every two days. Now that is just one thing that I can do to, to use my crystal. That is called programming and using and activating a crystal. You set it at a fifth dimensional frequency so that it never takes any lower vibrations on. And then in this particular instance, we've used it to throw a field of energy, the, the pyramid filled with Mother Mary's energy and Universal Angel Mary's energy all around me. Now. Use this on your home, your your local school, you know, any maybe your shopping centre, or anywhere else that you feel needs the extra energy. And always do it under the law of grace. Remember that other people are sharing your space; they will be affected by any frequencies that you are placing around you. You are using. So use the law of grace to make sure that everything happens um, for the highest good at all times. 
Well, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots more information about kind of using and programming crystals on my website www.timwild.com and um, if you visit the recording section I've actually done extensive workshops over the la last few years on this subject sorry Ant, you're gonna have to get off my leg <laughs> so sending you all lots of love happy Monday um, stay high vibe stay focused stay out of the nonsense and and keep your light high your frequency clear your ma manifestation sharp and remember that crystals are your friend and they're a lot easier to use than a lot of people think they are a lot of people think using crystals is very complicated in actual fact it is simple as picking your crystal up communicating with it communicating with it once you have done that once you've made that connection that crystal will respond to every single thing that you ask it to do Sending you loads of love. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.